letting you guys all know now that this is probably going to be a very rambly video because your girl never knows when to stop talking and she never knows what to say so she just keeps talking and talking and talking like I'm doing right now and it probably will make no sense but if you want to see me update for Booktubeathon then continue watching if you don't then go watch another one of my videos and um give it a thumbs up so that I feel like I'm doing something worthwhile thanks guys love y'all okay on to the video peace <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with my Booktubeathon Day 3 update. So without further ado, let us get started! <sighs> so basically, I have done barely any reading for this Booktubeathon. I know, shame on me, but I did say in my TBR I probably was not going to get a lot of reading done, so y'all can't be mad at me and be disappointed, because I warned you all. For Day 1 of Booktubeathon. I actually broke my phone, so I decided that instead of reading after work, I was going to go to the mall and buy a new phone. So I now have the beautiful iPhone 6, and I'm in love with it. Like, the newest one, because like that's a 6S, I think, but your girl broke, and this was like $500, and your girl could not afford the 6S, which was like $700, so we got the iPhone 6. I got cats on my case because meow and I'm in love with it so like no regrets there. But I did zero reading on day one. I'm sorry. For Booktubeathon day two, I actually did get a little bit of reading done. I read a total of 222 pages of Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare, which I'm using this book for a book by one of your new favorite authors. I'm loving it so far. I'm only 220 pages in, like I said, and I'm liking this a lot more than I like The Mortal Instruments. I think I'm supposed to read the next three Infernal Devices, like this one and then the other two, and then I continue on with The Mortal Instruments. I'm 100% liking this a lot better than Mortal Instruments, which I've heard a lot of people say. My mom said that this one's a lot better, so I'm definitely agreeing with her. Will and Jem give me life. Tessa, I like her as a character, which I didn't think I was going to, but I actually really like her. I'm hoping that I can finish this tonight or tomorrow. I don't know how that's going to go for me. Because it's about 7 o'clock, and I still need to go for a workout. That's why I'm dressed like this, because I'm going to go for a run right after this, and then I have to make dinner and all that jazz. So, I don't know how it's going to go for me. Might not happen, but we shall see. Now for Booktubeathon Day 3. That is today. Like I said, it is about 7 o'clock, and so far all I've done today is listen to the audiobook version of The Lovely Bones by Alice Siebold, and this is my book-to-movie adaptation book. I'm probably not going to watch the movie since I've seen it like six million gajillion times, but, you know, we can pretend that I watched it again if I actually get this book done because I don't know how that's going to go. I'm 66 pages into this. I'm thinking that I'm probably going to focus on this book tonight. Since I'm going for a run, I can listen to it while I'm running, and also when I'm cooking dinner, I can listen to it. And then I'll probably read this one once I actually get into bed for the night. Which, you know, has been around like 9 o'clock lately, because working 9 to 5 with small children, man, it wipes you out. You don't think that it will, but then you get home and you take a nap for like 4 hours, and then you're like, oh god, it's 9 o'clock, time to go back to bed. My life. So. A lot of reading has been done this month. At all. Which is funny because my last like three wrap ups have been like 22 books each. Yeah, that's not gonna happen this month. So that was my Booktubeathon day three update. I haven't done any of the challenges, I know, because like I said, I've been going to bed at like 9 o'clock and I get home and take a nap and then I go work out and then I go back to bed. So I really don't have any time and also I'm just a lazy person. So that's also a problem. But maybe, maybe I'll do it tomorrow or day five or six or seven. You know, just. Stay with me, folks. We'll see if we can push through and actually finish a book and do at least one challenge. That's my challenge to myself. You will do one challenge, Jan. Okay, Jan, I will. See? Now you all witnessed it. It's gonna happen. I'll see you all in my next video. I don't know if I'm gonna do an update video again. You know, we'll see if I actually do more reading. Okay, okay. Goodbye!